Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna make some simple goulash. My mom used to make this for us all the time growing up and we love it. Who doesn't love pasta with hamburger and some delicious sauce? So let's go over the ingredients. We got a pound of hamburger. I'm gonna use about a cup, a cup and a half of noodles. Um, I have a can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna use a little um, tomato paste and some whole tomatoes and squeeze them. And we got the usual salt, pepper, um, garlic, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, oregano, parsley, some hot pepper flakes if you want, you don't have to, and uh, onion and some peppers. Simple and easy. And uh, let me get everything set up and we'll get started. Okay, guys, I set everything up because I'm not sure if I went over all the ingredients right, but it was one onion, which is about a cup. Um, I found some green onions in my fridge, so I threw them in there too. So this is about an uh, overflowing half a cup, so maybe three-fourths of a cup of peppers. Or as much as you like. Um, three tablespoons of the paste, which, um, and then canned tomatoes, which is a 14 ounce can that I have in here. And I have this washed out with some water that we're gonna use. And some of the water came from these, which was a 28 ounce can of whole peel, whole peeled tomatoes. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of that or not, but we'll see. One and a half cups of noodles. Um, our one pound of ground beef and I'm using 80 20 and you can um, drain the grease out or you can leave it depending if it's not too much depending on what type of how much fats in it pretty much so if it's got a lot of fat you want to dump some of it and drain it if not you know you can go ahead and leave it in some of it's good for the flavor and then for our seasonings we got two teaspoons of salt a teaspoon of pepper I use a teaspoon of hot pepper flakes, but you can go easy on that, like a pinch or half a teaspoon, you know. And then I use two heaping teaspoons of parsley, of course. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and two teaspoons of oregano. And I forgot to get the garlic out because I don't have some pre-made in my fridge like I like to have. So I got to get a couple cloves of garlic. And then we'll get started. This is going to be so good. I'm making some croissants too, guys. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to show you is I don't want my ground beef to be all tiny bits and pieces. So what I do is I just take a little, little chunks and throw them in like that. And that way they're in like, you'll see when they get cooking. And it's real simple. It's kind of like making a little meatball and throwing it in there. Tiny, tiny. Some get bigger, but they break up as they cook. But that's how I do mine. That way they're not all in little bitty bites. Like, you know, how you see in, you know, like a meat sauce or tacos. So that's just what I do. It only takes a minute, but that's just what I've been doing for years. Okay, guys, see what I was talking about? And then they're all just kind of like their own separate little chunk. I do this with sausage, too. So, yeah. And I did put a tiny, tiny bit of grease in there just to get it started so it doesn't stick. But you see how simple that is? And then they just look like little uh, balls. Hold on. Okay, and guys, I forgot to tell you, this is my new Teflon Classic pan. And I'm a Amazon affiliate now, and I do get a tiny bit if you guys go on to my um, link and, and you purchase something. This pan, I love it. I'm only cooking it in this pan just for the video. Because normally you need to put it in a pot and then stir it all up with all the pasta. But just to make it better for you guys to see it. So I like to put my salt and pepper and my hot pepper flakes in now. So that meat can get all nice and seasoned. It's really important. And I'm kind of just flipping this meat over so they stay in chunks. I don't know. That's just how I like mine. They're going to break up a little, so it doesn't matter if some are big, some are small. They out, they break up a little. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to get my croissants in the oven. Okay, and I am going to drain mine. It's been cooking about five minutes, but see, there's a lot of grease in there. So I'm going to drain it and then keep just a little bit. Okay, now's the time to put in your peppers and onions and the garlic. 
and it's up to you. You can cook it right in with it in the beginning. I like to do mine like this. And the rest of our seasonings. And I love this pan, you guys. And they're not that expensive. I want you guys to give them a try. I got two of them. I'll have to let you know how much they were in the bottom. I can't remember. But they're worth every penny because they're going to last forever. So then just let that cook. Just so all those seasonings start getting cooked in there. I'm about to drain my pasta because that's ready. And then I'll, we'll put the sauce in. Okay, so I just put that tomato paste in. Because I want it to get really good and dissolved. And get that deep, deep flavor. I just picked the spot and put it in there. And this is going to cook. It wasn't quite cooked when I first drained it. so But it's going to cook in now. It's probably finished. And if not, it's going to cook longer in the pan with the sauce and everything. When it gets all mixed. So I'm going to get that going. And then we'll put the rest of the sauces in. Alright, so I've switched pans. Just let me show you my Teflon pan. Look at that. Cleaned right out. You can probably wipe it out and it'd be clean. Oh, that's the croissant. Okay, so we got the 15 ounce can of tomatoes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these. So I'm going to put half in at first. And then I crush the tomatoes just with my hands. 28 ounce. Mm. Yeah, I like to fry my hamburger first in a frying pan. Just that way it gets fried, <laughs> I guess. And then let's put about a uh, cup of water. We may even need more. And now I'm just going to let this sit and let it cook for a good 15 minutes. And then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys, so I did have extra tomato paste left. So I did this trick where you go like that and put it in the freezer bag. And hopefully you can pull out a, a piece of it. I'm not sure if that works. I'm just trying it for the first time. But it's about four tablespoons. But most recipes call for two to three. So, you know, if not, I'll use it in my sauce and put the whole thing in there. But I do it flat so it fits in the freezer better. And I did have about this much of the diced tomatoes and the crushed tomatoes left. I'll use that for another recipe or put it in my freezer. And freeze perfect in any freezable container and just take it out it'll be frozen or take it out the night before or if not put it in the pot and it thaws out right in the pot of whatever you're cooking or if you're just starting it like you want to make a sauce with this just put a tiny bit of water in the bottom and put it on simmer as low as it can go and just let it heat up slowly and keep an eye on it till it thaws and then you'll be all set okay this looks delicious it's been exactly uh i don't know about 10 12 minutes i think it's done I gave it a taste. I needed a little bit more salt and pepper, in my opinion. Now we're just going to put the noodles in that I just strained. Always put salt in your water when you're making your noodles. I'm using elbows in case I didn't say that, but I'm sure everyone knows elbows. I was just saying, why does it always seem like we have so many leftover boxes of elbows always around? I don't know. I don't cook them very much except for like a macaroni salad, but I always seem to have... All this elbows around. Oh, <laughs> hit the camera. Oh, look at that. It's looking so good. So now I'm just going to let that all marinate together for about a good five minutes and make my plate. Okay, guys. There it is. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, let's get this served up. Oh, by the way, this is my new tool set. I got a cute little ladle. Oh, oh my gosh. And let's have a nice croissant to go with that. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, guys, let's go in. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get a big bite. Look at that. You want to taste? O-M-G. Oh, my gosh. I'm going in. It's going to be hot. Mmm. Mmm. absolutely delicious just how i remember my mother making it i leave mine a little loose like this you can see there's like a lot of juice in there 
Some people like it like that so they can, you know, sop up their biscuit with it or croissant. <laughs> or just so, because the noodles, as they sit in the pot, they'll soak up a lot of that juice. So I always put a little bit extra. But do it how you like it. Um, I did add water. Um, you could add as much water or more sauce. You know, do it up like you like. Taste it. Always taste it and see if you need more seasonings. And put like what you like in it. And I hope if you guys like this recipe, you give it a try. Hit the like button. Show me love if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Welcome. Um, I need lots of subscribers. And like I was saying, I'm a, an Amazon affiliate now. You don't get much for recommending things. But I like to recommend things just because I use them and I like them. And I like to help other people. But so I signed up for that. It's. There'll be a link in the description where you can go and you can see the things I use. And since COVID, I've been buying everything online because I don't know. I've just been, I miss going in the store shopping because I used to, every week would pick up something different at the store. You know, a, a tool, a tool utensil, something small, or even at the secondhand stores. But since I can't get out much, I just been on Amazon like a maniac and um, buying different things and little things that I've always wanted, you know, treat myself. You know, my kids are all grown now, so I buy little things. Like, I mean, this spoon set came with a whole set. Um, if you go on my Amazon page, you'll see it. It's so cute. It's all wooden, so it works good in my Kelflon pans. Matter of fact, let me show you my Kelflon pans. Okay, of course, this is the dirty one we just used. Don't put water in a... Don't put cold things into a hot pan or hot things into a freezing cold pan because it... It does damage to your pans. Hopefully, these Kefalon pans don't do that. But some pans do do that. If you put scalding hot water after you washed it and you hear it go, that's not good for your pans. But um, these are called um, Kefalon Classic. So I don't think they're the original Kef... Oh, I can't even say it now. Kefalon, you know. But these pans are great. The handles are great. The tools, the you know, and they, they just work great. I don't know if you guys seen, but I do have the regular Kelflon grill pan, and I love that. Now, that thing was a little bit more expensive, but worth every minute of it. I can't remember how much these pans were. I want to say $39, and you get the big pan I was just showing you, and then the cute little, you know, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Fry up a couple of eggs or make a little toasted cheese sandwich. You don't have to get out a bigger pan. But yeah, so guys, make sure you're still subscribed to my channel because YouTube is still taking my my uh, subscribers. I was looking at one person. They had almost a million subscribers. They were like close to 900,000. And I looked and it showed that they took away 200,000 of their subscribers. How can they do that? Oh my God, I don't know. But I mean, it's a great business. You know, you can just cook your dinners for me anyway. And post them on Facebook. And I earn a little bit of money doing that. Which helps me out. And uh, every time you guys click the like button. Or subscribe. Or post something in the comments. That all helps me out too. So guys. Uh, make sure you give this a try. It's really good. It's Basically I use that same recipe. Without the noodles. And put beans in it. And make chili. It's the same thing. And I don't know. Did you guys notice the big chunks of meat? So they're not too big. But they're just not little bitty tiny pieces. That's all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Be safe.